The atmosphere and diversity of LA is on display on the Venice Boardwalk. It's where you'll see aspiring rappers, dozens of artists doing their thing and more. It's also home to the celebrities and some fabulous restaurants and bars. Less than a mile from the Venice Beach boardwalk, Abbott Kinney Boulevard is the epicenter of the cool, the fashionable and the alternative. Today we explore some of the favourite meeting, eating and drinking options on the boardwalk and on Abbott Kinney Boulevard. And we meet a couple of great artists and good friends. Abstract artist Charles Anordi has been a part of the Venice art scene, including the Venice Mafia, for more than 40 years. When I first moved to Venice, which was late 60s, early 70s, I can't remember the exact year, there did seem to be a Venice Mafia, but the, the truth is that the art scene in Los Angeles was very small. Everybody knew everybody, and uh, the thing about Venice is, uh, you realize it's a, it's a very small community. It's only about a mile long, and it's it was sandwiched between Santa Monica and the marina. And it was a land of the wanted and the unwanted. In a sense, nobody wanted to be in Venice. It was a scary place, and it was uh, real estate was very, very cheap. Uh, the climate's great. The ocean's right there. It's a mix of you know, residential, commercial, and manufacturing real estate. And so the artists sort of just sort of coming here because it was a great deal. And uh, Bankston was here and Irwin and uh, you know, Larry Bell, a lot of the older guys, John Altoon. And I'm a, you know, two generations younger than that. But boy, once I came to Venice, there was just no, no other place to go. And uh, it was a very small community, and uh, there was very little support really out there in the world. So every time anybody had a show, we all went. And uh, any time anybody had a birthday or any other reason to celebrate, we were always together. And it did seem a little bit like a mafia, but it was only because there was, it was such a small group and we all knew each other so well. And, um, and uh, there was a certain amount of power there because Billy and Irwin and those guys, they were the center of the art scene. They really created it uh, uh, through the Ferris Gower and stuff. I mean, if it hadn't have been for uh, Billy and Ed Keenholz and Irving Blum and stuff, there probably wouldn't, been, it wouldn't really have been an art scene in Los Angeles. So it was a mafia because everybody, it was like a big family. Uh, it was a real, it, all the hippies, it was, you know, free love and it was a great, great time down here. And uh, uh, the Doors had a place right down on Brooks Avenue. I mean, it was a very uh, great place to be. It was total freedom and everybody was expressing themselves. Hans Rockenwagner has two, a, a little restaurant and a little, like, pastry shop called Three Squares, which mm -hmm. is on Abbey Kenny, which is fantastic food, mm -hmm. really kind of unique. Hans is kind of heavy on, you know, it's not the high health diet, but really tasty good stuff. You should definitely try that. Mm -hmm. um, the old standards are the ones like Hal's, which has been around forever, and he's, he's pretty good. It's always that standard, but um, Joe's is very good. Mm -hmm. It's just right down here. And um, there's a new Italian restaurant, which is probably the most gourmet uh, restaurant, it's called Adu. Mm -hmm. Very tiny place, it's, only, it's right over here on Main Street, it's about 50 yards from here. Mm -hmm. And it's in an old yellow house, but the food is really excellent. Mm -hmm. It's Italian, they make their own pasta every day. I mean, it is spectacular, and mm -hmm. uh, all Italian wines, and if you don't know what you're looking for, you ask for a suggestion. It's moderately priced wine, and really, really, really good. Um, there's a little place called La Vecchia, which has a bunch of my art, mm -hmm. which is kind of good. It's an Italian restaurant, much cheaper. Formerly Tortilla Grill, with a really big medieval door. This is now Casa Linda, still with a really big medieval door. Casa Linda is a quick service Mexican restaurant in Venice that cooks traditional Mexican food using healthy ingredients. And the menu is what you would expect. Burritos, tacos, tamales, nachos, and quesadillas. 
and everything is fresh. I ordered crab enchiladas. There are bigger, full-service Mexican restaurants throughout Venice, such as Baja Cantina and Cabo Cantina. But this is perfect for the locals, as it gives you the chance to sit down for 15 to 30 minutes to simply relax and eat well. I love my coffee. Up next, join me for the perfect coffee.